Hi, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Today we're going to be insulating the attic and the cathedral ceiling slopes of this new house with blown cellulose. These are brand new condominiums and we've insulated them according to the builder specification with fiberglass in the walls and we're going to be blowing the flat uh, of the attic space with cellulose and also blowing down these rafter spaces in this cathedral ceiling with uh, blown cellulose as well. We've prepared for it by putting baffles in for the roof ventilation because it still will remain a vented roof and a vented attic. And so we're going to stick our hose to blow our cellulose down the rafter bays from the attic and fill up all these rafter bays uh, with cellulose. Then we'll blow the uh, attic flat and we'll be all done with this part of the job. So here we are in the attic and before we blow cellulose insulation to insulate this attic, uh, we have to air seal which means we have to seal up all the places where air can get from the house up into the attic because insulation does not stop airflow. Uh, cellulose insulation will do a much better job than fiberglass insulation will in stopping airflow, but still we want to seal the drywall to lumber connections and any holes in the lumber when we go up in the attic before we blow the insulation. Now in an existing house, we have to move insulation aside to find all these leaks and then seal them, which can be very difficult depending on the, the size of the attic, how much insulation is there, what kind of insulation it is, and it's uh, uh, usually very hot or it could be cold in the attic and very dusty. You touch old fiberglass bats and pieces of fiberglass are airborne everywhere. It's a difficult situation, but in this case it's new construction, so we have no insulation in this attic whatsoever. It's just drywalled a couple of days ago. Uh, so what we want to do is seal places such as this where the drywall meets a top plate. This is the top plate of a wall and this gap right here uh, is a place where air can get from the wall cavity up into the attic. So if there was an electrical outlet in that wall in this bay, air can go into the electrical outlet and up by convection, warm air rises up into the cold attic and escape out of that, that uh, crack right there. While we're here, we're just going to hit it with some foam. So over here, we have a place where the electrician had drilled holes for wires to go down into the wall cavity, and we sealed around those wires so air doesn't leak up through those holes. So here we have a, a place where we have a duct going through the drywall, and you see that this... Uh, duct, this metal flange is not sealed to the drywall. And what you have is an air leak from the interior of the house around the drywall and through the hole in the drywall and around the sheet metal flange and into the attic. And that will leak forever and ever and ever. And worse than that, that warm air is leaking out of the house, it is a powered air leak when the heating and air conditioning system is on. You have pressurized air going through here, blowing air out of the grill that's going to be put on the ceiling, but some fraction of that air is going to be uh, powered, a uh, powered leak and blow out between the metal and the drywall into the attic up through the insulation and be lost forever. So this is a place where we want, there's a lot of detail here to seal, but this is a place where we want to seal with our foam. These sheet metal boxes often have gaps and joints in them. So I'm going to continue and fill all around this so there's no leaks. So we look here around this electric box, we see a gap that will also leak forever. There's going to be a ceiling light fixture on that underneath and the air will go into that light fixture propelled even more by the heat generated from the bulb in the fixture and it will leak out of this gap and through the insulation into the attic forever and ever. Sealing this kind of stuff uh, may seem like a little thing now. When you consider the cost to pay to heat all the air that would leak through this hole for a hundred years, you think, wow, it's worth it to try to get it sealed now. It's so much easier to seal it now than to try to 
dig through insulation to get this, which is exactly what we have to do in existing homes. That leak is sealed forever. Now, I, I spoke of this before. Uh, I asked the builder to seal this up. He didn't do it. I guess he left it to us. But here's the top of a duct chase. And that duct chase goes all the way to the basement. Now, it is sealed at the first floor level uh, and the second floor level um, somewhat. But this chase goes down and the supply and return ducts run all the way down to the heating uh, system in the basement. And so you see this big hole. So that hole is going to let lots of air uh, up into the attic forever and ever. And also when we blow insulation in here, our insulation is going to fall down in there. So we have to seal it with foam before we blow our insulation in. Now what we're going to do is blow cellulose through this hose all the way down this cathedral ceiling base. And we have air baffles all the way down to the bottom so the air from the soffit vents could get up and out the ridge vent. 16 feet down this bay is how far we're going to shove this hose and then fill that bay up. It's going to take about three or four minutes per bay. And then once we get all the bays done on the slopes of the house, then we're going to do this flat area, which is pretty easy and pretty fast. If you have any energy concerns in your home, call Dr. Energy Saver. We can help you make your home more comfortable. And that includes every room in your house should be comfortable in all seasons. We can help you have a healthier indoor environment and make your home more durable with less mold and allergens. Give Dr. Energy Saver a call.